let me reiterate the purpose of my coming to Lancaster this year. The Lord told me to go and to give a message to this nation concerning the election of the president. And that's why I'm here. Then please pray very much for President Trump. And don't vote for the wrong man. So that is your cardinal duty from today until November 3. Then don't stop there. I just remembered one thing yesterday, you know, last night. As I sat in my room, I was pondering over that. Between November 3 and January 20, anything can happen to overturn, right? Right? Am I right? Anything can happen to overturn. So you want to, don't stop praying till November 3. You want to continue till Mr. Trump is safely installed, inaugurated Amen. on January 20th. Amen? Amen? Don't wait. I tell you one truth. See, I do not know anything about American politics. I don't need to know. I'm telling you the word from heaven. I reveal to you God's mind and God's purpose for this great nation. That's all I know. I don't need to know the red and the blue. Who is greater, who is lesser, who is right, who is wrong, whose mouth is big, whose mouth is lesser. That's not my business, you know. And I'm the first person to admit I do not know anything about American politics. But I know one thing. What is written in the scroll in heaven about the destiny of the US? And in that destiny, God's will is Mr. Trump should be should serve another term because God is extending his grace for this nation one more time for another four years. There is another work that God wants to do in this great nation and that can only be done through a man with a personality like Mr. Trump. You need a ruffian like him, you know. I'm sorry. But that's what he is, right? A ruffian. Even like a gangster, right? <laughs> oh, a, so I use the right word. Ah, street fighter. So gangster, right? Ah, good. <laughs> you know, a person with that kind of personality, I don't think you would have ever seen in the history of your 45 presidents, a man like him who is willing to take on anybody, <laughs> even the mighty United Nations, right? Have you seen any other presidents of even China could not do that? But your man, Mr. Trump, he took on, come on. <laughs> Amen. What a fearless man. Against all odds, he's standing alone. Right? He's standing alone. You know, on the 5th of October, which I shared last night, when the Lord came to me at 2.30 in the morning, and spoke to me about Mr. Trump. He showed me his heart. How much he's bleeding inside. Because he's standing all alone. Practically everyone is hitting him left and right. He's been battered. He's been butchered. He's bleeding. He's crying. Of course, externally, in public, he's putting on a big front. But I saw him in the secret of his big chamber, crying unto God. He was crying and saying, Lord, I'm all alone. I'm standing all alone. I heard him pray like that. Please help me, Lord.
So the Christians, even in the last many months, a large percentage of Christians in this nation have also turned against him. That's the bad part. The bad part. But prayer can move mountains. Amen? Amen. Prayer can move mountains. And the Lord showed me three powerful angels have been stationed to be to guard him all the time. Powerful angels, mighty angels. They are standing with him all the time. And I forgot to mention a vision that I saw on the first night. While I was getting dressed to come to the meeting, I saw a vision of an eagle, which I knew symbolized the United States. And that eagle looked at me and was crying for help. It was crying for help. So a wrong man should not become your president. If the wrong man becomes your president, your nation will go down and it will not rise up again. That will be the end of the United States of America. Because God is not finished with America yet. The promises, the covenant that he had made with your forefathers from the day they had consecrated and dedicated this land to the living God. God had made some covenants with them. And that those covenants and the promises will reach its zenith in the next term. So you want to be a righteous man in the office who will open greater doors of freedom for the gospel of the kingdom of God to go the length and the breadth from the east coast to the west coast. Do you know right now, instead of wonderful men and women of God rising up from the US, it is they are rising up from Africa, they are rising up from the east. And God is sending them to the US to tell you how to walk right. From the south. What is on the south? South America. A movement of righteousness. Ah. Of justice and righteousness from South America, Central America, coming to America. Okay, so it is south, from the South America, from Africa, from the east. Now they are coming and telling you how to live right. Where else, 100 years ago, you had gone there. And told, and told them how to live right. How to turn away from idols to worship the true living God. The idols that we gave up, you have embraced them. See how much you are sunk under. But if you are obedient, and Mr. Trump is voted again, this one thing will be restored. And like like the slogan that Mr. Trump says, let's make America great again. I don't think that came from his own mouth, you know. It's God who put those words in his mouth. And America will be made great again. Not only in the natural, but also in the spiritual. And once again, like the Statue of Liberty holding up the torch in her hand, high up for all to see. The body of Christ in the U.S. will hold the torch of God Amen. high up. Amen. One more time. Amen. One more time. Amen. So you don't want to miss this one more time. Amen?